Hey guys, I'm Hetty and welcome back to part 20 of the Fan Art Feb series and today I'm doing a watercolour and ink painting of Sadness from Inside Out. This was requested by Black Summer Colouring because this is like her all-time favourite character I believe and she knew that my markers were out but I don't, I don't think she knew actually that I'd got my watercolours out yet so I knew I'm just I'm actually unpacking boxes because we've still not moved so and I'm fed up with using all my markers so I thought like unpacked to just just my watercolours and inks nothing else I really wanted to get my acrylics out but I don't know which box they're even in anyway back to the art um I thought watercolours would work really well for doing sadness because it would really help get the texture because her like skin in the movie is kind of furry I guess so I thought the bleed from the watercolours would really help give that effect and to be honest I really wanted to use my pearlescent ink again because I've not used it for a while now and I'm like, I miss I miss using it and it was nice to hold a paintbrush and not just pens but while I was doing it I was mainly using for the skin I used a wet on wet technique and um, so like I wet the page and then dropped the colour on and then sort of blended it out but for her jumper I was I actually mixed some of my watercolours and my inks just to try and get that light greyish blue colour because I wanted it to tie in really well and I knew in this one I really wanted to do a lot of blues and just a few little bits of like a green which you'll see in the background soon and then there's the purple from her glasses but I don't really have many complaints about how this one turned out I'm actually really happy with it I think I suppose I could have done a different because I used pencil crayons to line it and I think I could have probably used something else because I've actually just got a new um, Kuretake brush pen which is in peacock blue I think it's a Kuretake one you know what I should really check that because I can't remember but my husband's just bought me he bought me the full set of the brush pens and this new one um, oh no it's not oh yeah it is the Koretake Zig Clean Colour Real Brush in Peacock Blue. So I'm really excited to use this, but because I didn't know, I didn't want the line art to be really dark on this. So that's why I didn't, because it is quite a dark blue. So maybe on another one I'll use it. But yeah, I suppose for techniques, there's not really much to say because I don't really do any magical technique things with inks or watercolours. Like I don't, I haven't really tried using salt on it or anything like that. My normal technique is literally just wet on wet. I might dab it with a piece of um, paper towel every now and again. But that's about it. Sometimes I will do dry, like wet on dry. Um, but yeah, nothing special there. Just layering it up and using different amounts of paint. So there we go. Um, but I hope Claire likes it because I know she's hyped on Twitter about it so that's fun but I'll answer some more questions for today and these ones are from Freebird Art oh my phone is just first there we go yes Freebird Art and the first question is if you could own a fantasy creature what kind of creature would it be um I have no idea that's something I've never really put much thought into um, but I like dragons and unicorns. I did like unicorns, and now they're becoming like a fashion thing. And I'm like, why? Why are you ruin this? Why do that? But I do like mermaids, and they're a fantasy creature. But I don't think I'd want to own a mermaid. I'd just want to be one, only for a day, because then I'd probably get fed up with the water. So, yeah. <laughs> but. I have no idea. Um, one that's not too big or too small. So if you have any recommendations, then please let me know. And my phone is literally just froze on me, so I can't check what the other question is. No, come on. Uh, nope. Um, well, I suppose I can talk about this a little bit more, the artwork. Um, for the background, I actually, because the only pearlescent ink I have, they are the Dale Rowney. Yeah, Dale Rowney liquid acrylic inks and I've only got the pearlescent one in black 
which you can see it's so sparkly i love it but if you even if you really dilute it down so it's like pretty much just water it's just sparkly so you can mix it with any of your color and keep the glitter but not it does sort of dull your color slightly but not a lot at all it was barely noticeable i mean the colors on here mine are all quite diluted because i did that with the water more than anything so that is something that would be good for you if you want to try having some sparkly inks they are a bit awkward to use sometimes because once they're dry they're dry and that's it which because i like using watercolor i do find that a little annoying sometimes which is why i think i might struggle using gouache because i really want to try it but apparently you can't like retouch it up like after like re-wet it and that may be a little difficult for me but anyway I found out my phone working. So the second question is, how is the fan art February going for you? Had you pre-recorded any videos or do you make one per day? Um, I think it's going great. After doing the YouTube Arts Collective piece, I'm kind of a bit behind. I did have some pre-recorded. I was actually pre-recorded up to halfway through the, uh, well, up to the YouTube Arts Collective, to be honest. On the 16th, when I posted the Amethyst picture, um, that one wasn't pre-recorded, um, but all before that was. Uh, but since working on the YouTube Arts Collective one, I've kind of lagged behind because that piece took me like nearly three days to do. So that wasn't good. So now I'm trying to play catch up because we've had progress on the moving house and we're looking at changing internet provider. So I'm like, I need to try and get as many videos done and pre-recorded as I can before we move or before we change internet, whichever comes first. Uh, and then like stuck with no internet because any public internet around here is useless and the family's internet isn't all that great either. So I think I'd rather have them pre-recorded and up and ready and I need to get videos all pre-recorded and up and done and scheduled for after Fan Art Feb as well. So if some of my questions or answers to anything seem a little bit behind in the next few videos or next month's videos even, that's probably why if it's not up to date on like what's going on at the time because they're probably going to be pre-recorded videos. But there's a heads up and if I do suddenly disappear for like a few videos like don't come up in one or two weeks, I'm sorry but that's the, that would be the reason it's because I'll be changing internet provider but I will try and up to update you all as best I can um, because literally we find out things especially with moving house we're finding out maybe within a day or two we'll have some news and then things have got to start moving so it's all going to be a bit of a rush job of getting set up to be able to do videos again I mean, the actual moving itself isn't going to be a rush job because we'll hopefully have a few weeks to be able to do that. So that's going to be quite peaceful, hopefully. But in terms of moving, um, like changing the internet or getting YouTube stuff set up, I might end up missing a week or two, which I'm sorry. If I do, I'll try and do some extra videos. I'm not going to promise that, but I will try. I'll promise I will try. But anyway, we're coming up to the end of the video now. And I hope Claire likes this piece because she did request it. I'm really happy with how it came out. It's sort of in my style, but sort of, it's still obviously sadness. So yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you'll join me for the rest of Fan Art Feb because we only have another eight days to go. And yeah, I will see you tomorrow. Bye.